All right, welcome back, VPD fans. It is me, Big Papa Z. And once again, today we're joined by my youngest, Trey. Say hello, Trey. Hello, Trey. He can't learn. Mm. What we're going to do today, now it's my turn to show Trey something he hasn't seen before. Now, he is familiar with this artist. He has seen two videos from this artist, but this one he's yet to see. But before we get on to that, let's... Uh, Ask you to please, if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. We're on our way to 300 subs. A thousand is just around the bend. It used to be at the end of the tunnel. Now it's just like slightly over the hill. And hit that like button. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I drop videos. And also comment down below. All right, we're back, and we're back. What we're going to do today is introduce Trey. He has seen Hyren. He has seen Sick Boy. He has yet to see the epic tale of Jenny and Screech. So without any further ado, any expectations? Um, just craziness. <laughs> like, just absolute <laughs> anarchy going on. You are like, sir. All right, without any further ado, here we go. Did you study the mouse trumpet in high school? Yeah, yeah. I majored in that in college. Yeah. Yeah. Scholarship? No. No, 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 no. no. Okay. So amateur mouse trumpeter. Yeah, I was like bottom of the class. Okay. It was a quiet dark night in an empty street somewhere at another city. Jenny walked alone, she was dragging her feet, she was heading back home to sleep. Well, she knew this town, she knew this floor because she walked it about a thousand times before she wanted to escape. Can you blame? We're on the very same night in a different place that walked this hooded young. Did you see the graffiti <laughs> I didn't read it. I have to back it up. Let's, uh... Right. I, I thought, thought it said something else. Yeah. I am a two-year-old. We're on the very same night in a different place. I walked this hooded young youth by the name of James. He was 14 years old and out of his brain he'd been smoking ganja with the boys. James, he grew up to be a kid of the street. His mates called him Screech, he was quick on his feet. He was a liar, a thief. At 14 years old, the devil had set his sights on his soul. As Jenny walked home all along, she felt scared. Usually she was all right, but it was like there was something in the air. A divine intervention telling her to beware. Maybe intuition bogging her and making her so scared. Sirens sounded in the distance at the beat of Jenny's feet. A symphony of the night that echoes crime on London streets. Jenny turns a corner, their eyes they meet. A poor girl Jenny, a boy named Screech. Okay, initial thoughts? His outfit, by the way, is on one million, dude. <laughs> the Nebraska starter jacket. Oh yeah, you know what that, that jacket's probably worth now. That looks like an original starter jacket. I don't understand where he got that from. I would love to know. Yeah, I don't know what the backstory is on that, but this is all one. It's you know one take recording. Yeah, so he's wearing a bulky jacket to hide all the cords and everything that he has. I was gonna ask you about that because like the whole setting and everything like that to go out and just do something like yeah, that. Cow, do you think that, cow, that that's a fella up there? <laughs> and yeah. he has to do this probably two or three in the morning. 
you how know, many I times? Really I don't know. I don't know. I know that High Ren took four separate tries. They the video uh, so many angles were pulled from those four tries, but the audio was all one take. He just attempted it four times and he wow. the last one. I'm not sure about these because they're pretty elaborate. So um, yeah, but I don't know. You can imagine I would be that guy right there. Going, hey, asshole, keep it down. Yeah, no, no one's screaming at it right now. No it's one. Amazing. It's amazing. Jenny turns a corner, the eyes they meet. A poor girl, Jenny, a boy named Screech. Give me all your money, bitch, give it to me. If you cooperate, then you'll soon be free. I want your purse, your phone, don't fucking look at me. I mean it, bitch, are you listening to me? Jenny freezes statue like a lady shakes stalactite Feel like liquid nitrogen in the dark night She tried to find strength to move But stayed as still as a statue in high-heeled shoes What the hell are you playing at? You playing games with me? I swear to fucking God I'll slice the rosy off your cheeks You think I don't mean it, go? You don't know me? The last thing you see will be a boy called Screech reach with the sheath of the blade with the teeth that could bite through steel and slice concrete and he swung possessed with the devil in his chest and the statue she was turned to butter in her breath. The alliterations, <laughs> the uh, everything in it, man, it's so... Does, is you he have to... a picture for you? Right, you that's, that's what I'm saying, yeah. yeah. It's, it's amazing. you got to reach to a... Uh, an unaccessed part of your brain to come up with stuff like that. Um, from what I've known from Ren, he, I don't know if he is of the streets, um, but he, a lot of his songs speak of the you know, street life in London. Mm -hmm. and, well, Brighton, he's actually from Brighton, but the street life uh, in the, that area and uh, about the plight of the people that live, not necessarily on the street, but have to deal on a nightlife and the street life and, and everything. In his chest, and the statue she was turned to butter in her breath. It was a quiet, dark night in an empty street somewhere at Nantes City. Jenny lay still on the cold concrete. She's far out somewhere to sleep. Well, she knew this town, she knew this floor. Cause she'd walked it about a thousand times before. I guess that she escaped. It's such a shame. Okay, this is actually a three-part video. Three okay. separate videos make up the story of Jenny and Screech. Um, any final thoughts on the first part, the tale of Jenny? Just the way he set the tone of everything. I you know I'm really interested in music that I was always a fan like uh, like how Coulter Wall does his thing with the whole devil and he kind of sets the tone the video itself how the setting is with the alley the graffiti the story it just all it melts. I was discussing that know? with somebody else and I kind of um, well, I referenced Coulter I referenced right. the devil wears a suit and tie. Uh, to somebody uh, in the conversation about Ren. That's funny. Well, they thing. do the same thing. You yeah. Know? The, yeah. Uh, something about just the acoustic guitar, your voice, and then just setting the tone. There's something deeper about just a guy and his acoustic, you know? Right. Now, this is the tale of Screech. Poor 
Jenny clocked out like Big Ben. They screech, they boy, where did he go? He melted into the black night just like snow. Patrick, man, let me in, please open the door. I think I fucked up, Patrick. Really fucked up, man. I'm not sure. I got crazy, left this lady lying still on the floor. I think I killed her, Patrick. Come on, man, I can't knock no more. But Screech kept on knocking till his knuckles became sore. But there's no sign of Patrick down at number 54. No refuge for our villain, for the bitter hands of fate. With something far more sinister in mind, it does away. Uh, he changed like into that off key with the guitar playing like messy, you know, type. Kind of like, yeah, I understand. Like off, you know, it's like um, because he, you know, he's singing, he's kind of rapping too. So yeah, he didn't, like rap on the first beat or the third beat or right. You know, yeah, so basically, it came in. Yeah, but it changes with the part of the story, sure. you know, which I think that's pretty cool. I wonder if he learned his ass from the graffiti background. Just, uh, yeah. I wonder if they just, like, scoped the whole city and I'm like, oh, that's a good place to shoot. I always think about that. Like, the effort it goes into finding these places. If I was in charge of that, I'd be fired because every video shot would be in front of uh, a gas station. Yeah. <laughs> that would be the worst at that job. <laughs> All right. Something far more sinister in mind does away. Hey, babe, are you in? No, nah, nothing really. I'm just a bit tired. Listen, can I swing around yours for a few moments? I just really miss you, babe. What the fuck do you mean you're busy? You fucking bitch! For fuck's sakes! Um, that's just him trying to be different with that, you know. So that's the first time I was like, dude, you're coming with me. You can't be like talking about your phone. It's like the youth today can't get off their phone for any reason. He's pulling his out in the middle of video. I was looking at the phone to see. You ever watch a movie where somebody, you know, gets on their phone and they're in the middle of a call, and you can definitely see they're on like the calculator app. Oh yeah, yeah. I was looking for that. Yeah. It's like he's not talking to anybody. Uh, he's yeah, yeah, there's some sort of it's some sort of page because there's like a thought that has left. Yeah, he's on Wikipedia, dude. Because <laughs> I would never talk to my old lady like that. I wouldn't live to see another day. Can I swing around yours for a few moments? I just really miss you, babe. What the fuck do you mean you're busy? You fucking bitch! For fuck's sakes! <laughs> Siren sounds approaching like a banshee in the night. The shrill cry of justice cutting like the sharpest knife. But Screech was never one to run, not one to miss a fight. One hand upon his blade, he turned to face the blue lights. Come on then, you fucking cunts, let's fucking have you then. I am Screech, I'm the boss, I'm the ender of men. You think that uniform you're wearing means that you own these streets? These are my fucking streets, and they call me fucking Screech. What's that? Screech is a little over the top. Screech needs to calm down. A little but irrational, yeah. you know? And it's 14. In the beginning, he said he's 14 years old. Right, right. Like, you know. With a 14 year old, like, sort of screaming at you that they own the streets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was raised in these streets. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah. 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 I mean, I've seen 14 year old kids oh, act yeah. like yeah. that, though. Definitely. He's like, where are your parents? Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> Why are you acting like this? Take a nap or something. Yeah. Boss, I'm the ender of men. You think that uniform you're wearing means that you own these streets? These are my fucking streets. And they call me fucking Screech. Richard was an officer who said that six foot three. Working London on the night shift, what he didn't think he'd see. Was a boy running at him like an animal possessed. With no time to hesitate, he fired four bullets at Screech's chest.
Our story it ends right at the start. Young Screech and poor Jenny lying one street apart. An officer shaken by the boy that he claimed. Two bodies lay lifeless, and it's such a shame. It's such a shame. Thoughts? I'm, I'm just predicting. Okay. Yeah, I'm like a movie guy, you okay. know? I feel like in this third part, like, I think Screech is 100% dead. Okay. I don't think Jenny is actually dead because they've left the first part kind of open ended. Well, you know, yeah, 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 I can mean, see why you would do that. Uh, you wouldn't be the first. Okay. Um, what's, what's he going to do now with the cameraman? So he killed, killed his cameraman with a guitar. Yeah, I didn't think about that. It's all funny games. You can't you kill your cameraman with a guitar. And then, He's also not dead because there's a third part. Unless, <laughs> would you be the next guy to step up to be the uh, cameraman? I, if, if I was going to take a go, I'd have questions. Right. right. Because surely you're already on the crew. Because these were released at separate, separate times. So you um, could probably, oh, oh Red wants to hire me as a cameraman. Yeah. And then I would go back and watch and say, um, he killed his last cameraman. Like, so, so yeah, I'd have questions. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Okay. I like it. Once, Once again, again, like we were saying um, earlier, earlier with the other movie we did, Red is very brave for doing music that nobody else does. Yeah. You know, so they, I guarantee you there were times that he was in a, a band called The Big Push. There's probably times kind of throughout the, his life where people that he was collaborating with and friends where he just had these ideas. I guarantee you a lot of them are like, dude, that's insane. What are you talking about? Right. I love artists like that. Yeah, I think yeah. artists like that are great. I, I was always a fan of ODB because nobody can match. Yeah. You're absolutely. like, what is he doing? There's a fine line between what, what is it? Insanity, insanity and genius. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. You got to be able to take those risks and take the, uh, that chance. Uh, Bring something new to the table. Yep. Here we go. It's such a shame. It's like that crossroads, like lick, you know. My first question when I first saw this was, "Who the fuck's Violet?" <laughs> and what? There's no cursing on this channel. So How if, dare you, right? If, if Violet. Uh, is involved with Jenny or Screech. No, 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 Where no, was she? Don't get it out of your right, 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 right. right. Bad friend. Started off like an Irish like ode. Uh, it's something you would hear in a Renaissance fair. <laughs> yeah, that's what, that's what I was thinking. I was like, then he just started ripping it. Yeah, yeah very, very metal, metal hammer on the uh, hammer. And... Had to get the close up on it too. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's like, watch this. I just love when he slows it down. And... Ooh, 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 ooh. This 
is also a kind of a metal thing. London City, far from pretty, two. Zero, zero, five. A lady down in Paddington is fighting just to stay alive. Rhythmic beats and blood stains. She's our lady weep. She's tired and frail. To set the scene, we must rewind the hands of time for Violet's tale. Was a silent girl, grew up with violent stars. Her mother was a drinker, and her father was a bastard. As you can tell, this is one take. The acoustics look yeah. amazing. Oh, yeah. And this. Her mother was a drinker, and her father was a bastard. Every night he took a tie, but never left the room. I'll spare you with the things he did, I'm sure her mother knew. Violet a lot, of, a lot of reactors did I see and have missed that part. That she was abused by her father. Was a silent girl, she moved out at 16. A semi detached council flat, paid for by your welfare scheme. Packing shelves at Tesco, stacking jars like pickled bricks. She met a boy named Stevie, and he was a little prick. Violet was a silent girl, and Violet, she fell fast. See, Stevie was a wrong and the Asian you out of charm. Every night he took a tie, but never left the room. History repeats itself, he paint her black and blue and dark. She never stood a chance. The devil comes to dine. I haven't appreciated this, even though I've heard this song multiple times. This is the first time I've listened to it in headphones. And you really get the acoustics. Like when the camera is far away from him, he has a level of mic on, but the camera also must have a, uh, you know, a mic, a boom mic. Because he's far away from the camera, and then as he gets closer, he, the sound, and then eventually when he gets up to it, changes the actual level. You hear like a distant sound, you hear the echoing of that hallway. Yeah. And then you could really hear the acoustics of the stairway. And not to mention the timing of this. Like, like okay, okay, we're gonna start with the song here. Because there's, there's no, no editing. editing. Right. And then, and then you, you gotta, gotta hit the you know, little tape on the ground. You gotta hit your mark here, hit your mark here. And it's the exact time that we hear the song when you're coming to this part. This part is amazing. The quality and the creativity that's involved in this with somebody that's not. Like super, you know, high up uh, in fame, I'd say. It's just amazing. Yeah. I wanted to pull this back to this part, and you can see what I'm saying about the sound. Violet was a silent oh, girl, and Violet she fell fast. See, Stevie was a wrong and the Asian knew how to charm her. Every night he took a tie, but never left the room. History repeats itself, he paint her black and blue and dark. She never stood a chance. The devil comes to die. Why are you always so quiet? On her bedroom door and he's tiring. He's been drinking and smoking, he's up late. And he stands by her bedside, she shakes. But her eyes stay shut. You fucking slut, I know you're up. And he pinches her eyelids and folds them up. Violet, why are you lying to me, Violet? She stays silent, things turn violent. That's the sound of his fists when they fall like a crashing pilot. Hit like hailstones, one to the collarbone, full force, full blown, blood splat, bone crack, knick knack, paddy whack, one to the jaw when the tooth spat, detached, fist connects and disconnects a bone. A quick deflect to misdirect the blow, but nonetheless his punches met her throat. Such a mess he's left the bruised and broke. Wait, 
Jesus. Amazing. 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 Wow. Amazing. Good. 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 Now it's just. I know. I know. So, so a lot of times, times like, like whatever shit hurt her. I didn't say it again. Yeah. Like, I was just completely. completely and there's like there a million videos of people watching, watching this and higher end. And, and people, people just sitting there in silence. Because they don't. Like, like it, it takes, takes their, their, your brain, brain some time to, time to, rec- to, to reconcile, reconcile what you're what you're seeing. And what you're well, it's like it, the way he crafts it is like great, but also the visual he's painting for you, you're like, I hate this guy. Yeah, it's <laughs> super dark. I mean, this whole yeah, it's super it's dark, dark, but it's like, I'm like, wow, he's talented, but Jesus, it's a, you know, it's a sad picture. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, and well, that's, that's the whole thing. thing. It's it's the plight of people, people sometimes is a gritty. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there, there is, is no happy. happy I mean, sometimes, sometimes there's no happy, happy ending. So. Yeah. Patch fist connects and disconnects a bone. A quick deflector misdirect the blow, but nonetheless his punches met her throat. Such a mess he's left her bruised and broke. Violet, why you always so silent, Violet? Why are you such a little liar, Violet? Do you think I want to do this, Violet? In character, she stays silent. Well, say something, Violet. Silence. Fucking say something, Violet. Silence. Wait. Say something, Violet. Not one word. She stays quiet. London City, far from pretty, 2005 A lady down in Paddington is fighting just to stay alive The doctor, in a state of shock, saw something here so very wrong See Violet, she was pregnant, poor Violet she was nine months gone Turning to the doctor Violet broke her silence And she cried If I'm to die Right here tonight Please let my baby stay alive The doctor soon regained composure Called the surgeon to come in As Violet's world turned to black The curtains closed The lights went dim In London City Far from pretty 2005 A lady down in Paddington just lost the fight to stay alive A tragedy or a miracle It happened on these very streets Two twins lying side by side A girl named Jenny And a boy named Screech I, that wasn't on the bingo card. No. Wow. It's, it's just a perfect match. It's, 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 it's amazing. amazing. I've listened to all this stuff, stuff, stuff so many times, times and, and it still, it still hits, hits me. me. Yeah. It tells this whole thing of something that's so common in the world is just like a, just a lineage of... Psycho yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the words I was looking for, but that is such like an untold story, and what people don't understand about scenarios like that. That's just obviously you get that. Violet had those two because she died. Her husband or boyfriend went to jail for her murder. Yeah, this kid obviously was split up because of the foster care. Grew up on the streets, but yet retained. Screech retained the characteristics of his father. Right. And Violet, re- I mean, uh, Jenny re- retained the characteristics of Violet. Yeah. And it just repeated itself and repeated itself. It's like, it's a, like a Shakespearean tragedy. It really yeah, is. yeah. It really is. And he, he's you don't get something, people, man. I'm sorry. You don't get people in these modern days writing things with this kind of thing. No. I mean, other than like your Hollywood writers and but on the music side, you don't you don't see this very often, and it's just like I said, it's still powerful to me, and I've seen it a bunch of times. Yes. Any final thoughts? I mean, it's like like you said, it's just not illustrated in this form of art enough, you know. And not saying that it always has to be dark, but something that can be painted for, uh, let's say, 
people that don't get their stories told, sure. you know? And music is, like, one of the best platforms to be able to do so. Because music, it, it reaches everyone, oh, yeah, you sure. know? It resonates with people. All yeah. right, uh, guys, I'm glad that you could join us today. And you had, did you have something else to say? Nope, that's All it. All right. Uh, if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit that notification bell, and please comment down below. I appreciate you guys joining me for our support. The channel is growing very quickly, and that's all because of you. You'll see me again. You'll see him again. Peace and love.